Welcome to Support Videos. My name is Douglas Barreto, and today I'm going to show you how to use key masking for integer numbers. You have a very specific scenario where an oracle table has a column with data type number with no precision scale and holding integer numbers only. The issue is when you use key masking, it generates no integer values at the target because the data type in the map is converted to double. The solution is to create a maplet, convert a number to integer, and then embedding in the key masking transformation. As you can see here, I'm in the mapping, the number column becomes a double in the source qualifier. As a result, in the target, you're gonna have a no integer number. In order to avoid this, uh, I created a maplet with an expression transformation with an input port as double and an uh, output as integer and used the function to, to integer to convert the number to an integer number. Um, after that, I use the data masking transformation. That's simple. It's a simple key masking transformation, and that's it. And you just have to export this maplet and use it in the TDM, TDM workbench. As you can see here, I have created a custom uh, rule in TDM workbench using the maplet. It just has an input port, a numeric input port, and an output numeric port as well. Here in my TDM project, I just assigned the rule to the column and specified the input and output columns. In this case, it's the same column. After, after generating the workflow in TDM, you're going to have a mapping like this. Uh, what changes is uh, you're going to have uh, the maplet here. And with that, you're going to have integer values in, at the target as you, you wanted to accomplish. So key masking on a number column with integer values generates no integer values on the target. Uh, the solution is to create a maplet converting double to integer and embedding in the key masking transformation used in TDM. Uh, you can find details in the KBE article 156754. Any questions, comments, please send an email to support videos at informatica.com or access our Twitter account at InfoSupport. Thank you.